on a real high. Just passed its MOT. Smack on the blooming ground again. I don't believe it. Christ. God's sake. Come on. Not a nice experience. What the hell? Hi there guys and welcome back to the channel. So this is yet another setback for the Capri of course. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play to you um, a very quick video of what had happened just um, just moments after I'd uh, got back, put Reggie to bed, and when I went to try and put the Capri into the uh, back into the garage. So yeah, this is what happened. What the hell? I need to get this thing disconnected quick. Jesus Christ. All right, so I've just disconnected the negative terminal on the battery. I'm just looking at the car, there's, there's something here, look. What's this? Some sort of gaffer tape of some sort. Well, that's, that's obviously fell off because that no, I'm fairly sure it was not there before and it's directly underneath where this smoke has just been coming from. So something has clearly shorted out. I'll have to get it pushed in the garage and get it jacked up and have a look. So irritating, it's literally just passed its MOT this morning. <laughs> so what's caused this? Well, it's a bit strange. So what had happened is, what I didn't of course pick up on camera because I didn't expect this, any of this to happen. What had happened was when I got into the car to start it up, I put the key in the ignition, went to fire it up and it went root as if it was like a flat battery and the battery light was staying permanently on um, so okay strange turn the key back off took the key out of the ignition and I could still hear it trying to engage as if it was trying to still start <laughs> started smelling some smoke like what the hell looked and I could see smoke pouring out the bonnet and in far greater content than what you could see on the uh, that I did capture just on that clip in the uh, earlier on there was way more it was pouring out and my initial thoughts <laughs> was pretty frightening of course um, but okay so obviously I had a look underneath um, yeah there's obviously some charred um, remains around I think it's a throttle it looks like it's the throttle cable I'm guessing it is um, and or is it a clutch could be clutch don't know yet i'm new to this engine of course i'm still checking out so i'll have to have a look in my ains manual in a minute um but there's the uh tape or the um the, the insulation around that that cable whatever it is it's going to the gearbox um that's that's all charred and i suspect that that's what was causing all the the smoke and the the smell it was that it was that that was burning but What's caused that to burn? I don't know. I don't know what's if something shorted out or what, but that was a, that was pretty uh, pretty frightening. Um, first and foremost is both me and Reggie are all right. Primarily Reggie, of course. He's he's tucked up in bed at the moment, so we're okay. Um, but yeah, not uh, not nice. Not a nice experience. And as I say, pretty frustrating because it's literally just passed its MOT this very morning. So from going on a real high, <laughs> we're now smack on the blooming ground again. Um, so, yeah, well, what I'm going to firstly do, of course, I'm going to have a look at my Haynes manual and see if I can work out what this, this cable is. So we'll have a look at that now. Right, so looking at the Haynes manual, that cable is definitely the clutch cable, which would make sense because it was what was going straight to the gearbox. That... Um, rubber gator thing that's what this is so that's the gearbox here and that gator was going over this hole that's it's the, the, the casing around this is what's 
burnt. But quite why, I don't know at the moment. Bit odd. Right, well, what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to see if I can give this a start. I'm, I'm curious to see what happens at the minute. I am conscious of is that the car was trying to start when I had my key out of the ignition and I do wonder whether it's going to try and engage at the moment where I reconnect the battery again. I wonder if something like that possibly might happen. So what I need to make sure I do, with it of course having the rear wheel still sat on the floor, I don't want it to lurch forward. So make sure it's in neutral, handbrake is on. We're going to connect the battery again, I'm going to see if I can start it. So we're in neutral. I'll tell you something. The clutch. It's stuck up. Clutch is gone. Clutch is totally seized. It won't go down. Now oh, why's that? Tip a minute, I don't know if the car is actually in gear or not. Let's get it on the ground again. I can maybe try and start it when it's at least on the floor and then if it's going to move forward well, it can be caught with the handbrake. Whereas if it's jets up now it's going to lurch forward and try and come off the axle stands, which I don't want it to do. That's a nice noise. Ignition in, in neutral, handbrake on, foot on the brake. Is it going to want to try and go? The clutch is just not going down. It's stuck in the up position, it won't go down. Everything happening underneath. Nothing visible, as you'd expect. I'm even more puzzled now. Why was there all that smoke? It's gone onto the clutch cable, so I wonder if it's just damaged the clutch cable. <laughs> so, right. So, where do we start now? What is this problem? Um, so, I've had a chat with my dad and got his advice and got his thoughts. And what he thinks has possibly happened here is that somehow the clutch cable itself has touched something on the circuit for the um, starter motor and the ignition. If it's not the starter motor or a part of the ignition system itself, it'll be somewhere on the circuit. It's touched it, shorted it out, which is what has caused then the battery drain, Possibly as well what might have caused it to try to want to continue starting without the key in the ignition. But as well, crucially, it's caused all of the heat. And that is what has melted the, uh, the, the insulation. Now, one of the other theories, what possibly might have happened, and I don't know if this is the case or not until we inspect it, the clutch cable itself, uh, I had a chat with another guy, a Capri nut, uh, to get his thoughts on it. Now he's confirmed to me that the clutch cable itself is made of just you know a, a metal um, cable and wire that's coated with uh, another metal casing, and that metal casing is then wrapped around with this insulation. Now my dad seems to think that what might have happened is that the intense heat that came into the cable when the um, battery was being drained has actually mount has actually welded or fused together the the cable and the metal casing itself that's his theory that's what he thinks possibly might happen and if that has happened that would explain why there is no travel on the clutch pedal so that's what i'm going to be hopefully having a look at today now i have purchased a new clutch cable so it's already arrived. We're going to try and fit this one today. Of course, we've got to get the old one off. We'll have an inspection of it and see if indeed that is uh, the problem. Hopefully, there's no other issues. We'll simply then be able to 
fit the new one and hopefully the clutch will be working again and we can go back out. I'm really hoping that this is going to be a fairly simple job because ironically next uh, weekend it's the uh, Hoveringham Wonderland Festival, the Capri Festival and I really would not want to miss out on that and not be in my Capri. So yeah, hopefully we can get this one done and we'll be all right. So yeah, better crack on. We've got to work out how it disconnects from inside the um, gearbox in here and then at the other end of the cable where it goes into the car to attach to the pedal. Times like this I'm very thankful for a Haynes manual. It looks like this is going to be a fairly simple job but I've never done one of these before so um, yeah let's hopefully it'll go well. Right so what we've got here the clutch cable itself goes into the bell housing via this piece here so that you've got like a rubber gator so this gator needs to come off okay so I can see now that loosening these two nuts and putting them further down the thread will allow me then to move the entire section of cable further up into here so that I can unhook it from this little eye just here so we've got two 17 mil nuts hopefully the idea will be that we'll hold one in place I'll just turn in the other and it should loosen. There we go. Yeah, that's worked. Down she comes. Should be able to turn that one as well. Grab the cable, push it through further like that. A bit fiddly. Go on. There we go. Through the gator. Get that out of the way. And that should come right through like that. Perfect. Right, it looks like the clutch cable is cable tied to another cable just further down there, so I'm going to cut that away. There's meant to be some sort of release pin on the top of the clutch pedal somewhere up here. I can't get very good visibility. I'm just wondering whether or not if I take this panel out of the way, whether or not I'll be able to see what I'm doing a bit more. Looks like it's only just a couple of screws. Take this steering column cowling away. I don't know if it's going to work. Probably I'm taking off more than I need to, but looks a bit uh, a bit tight down there anyway, and I can't really see what I'm doing properly, so I'm going to try that. There's that one as well. I probably am taking off way too much. Aha, uh -huh. lift that out. If I disconnect the cigarette lighter, I should be able to get this panel out of the way. God's sake! So looking at this clutch pedal assembly then. I bet it's this. That thing there. That'll be the pin that I'll need to remove in order to get this end of the cable out of the pedal. So I'm going to have to try and prise that off. Right, access is just too blooming tight at the moment. I can't get in there properly, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it, bring the car out a little bit further so that I can swing it that way, give myself a bit more room this side so I can get in properly, because at the minute I can't really access it. Obviously, I've disconnected the cable at the bell housing end. The thing that's concerning me here is this pedal is still really stiff. And if, for example, if I'd snapped a cable, this pedal would have fallen to the floor, or at least we could push it down. But it's not. It's absolutely stiff as hell. I'm wondering if I've got something else wrong here. I think probably what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this pedal off and have a look up here and find out if there's something else happening here. It would probably make it easier for me to get the cable off anyway if I did, so I'm going to try and take this pedal off. What did I say before about opening it? This would be a simple job. Come on. Go on. So looking at the top of the clutch pedal, you can see of course where it's feeding in from inside the engine bay. Just on the end there, you've got that metal bit on the end, it's like got a hole through it. 
you've got this uh, like a bar going straight through it and that bar sits into these two little plastic clips so somehow i've got to release the bar out pull the bar out from the eye and then that should allow me to then pull the cable through right pull that pop through go on there we go that's that off i can pull that little bar through thing there we go boom right so it should just be a case of now finding the end and pulling her through if she comes there we go one clutch cable removed And yeah, sure enough, look. And as you can see, it moves when you pull it. And this one <laughs> is doing absolutely nothing. It is completely welded inside so the clutch cable definitely is the problem for sure it's knackered that's what caught fire pretty frightening well and truly right let's get this one fitted so it's just through that that we're going to feed the new clutch cable through at this end so first thing is we need to put the bell housing end down here. The eye bit will obviously then go through the hole at the top. There we go. So it's a case of now just pushing on this bit just to push it home. And there we go. Right, let's connect it to the pedal. Top of the pedal, that white clip, push that in the top. Right. So put in the cable through there like that. Hope that it holds in place. And then with the bar, thread through the eye of the cable and press home into the plastic clips either side with a click. Like that. So that is now attached, nice and secure. And that's a case of just getting the pedal attached. Easier said than done. This yellow clip's got a, a little bit just here, just where my finger is, that lines up with a slot that's on the side of the pedal. And they've got to line up, of course, otherwise it won't go through. There we go. There's another one of these. And as you can see that little slot there, you've got the same, you've got the equivalent, you've got a, a slot on this side of the pedal as well, so that's got to line up. So that goes in there, like that, push home. So a washer here as well, over the top. And then the retaining clip to hold it in place. Might need a bit of persuasion. It's a bit of a tight fit, and it needs to be, of course. I can definitely see myself getting some cut fingers with this. Oh, hang on a minute. Ah, I see, hang on. Right, no wonder it's not going on. I'm gonna push that, I can move that pedal in a bit. And when I do, there's like a little recess on this bar here, and that'll be where the clip sits. Go on, gotcha. Ha ha ha. Excellent. I'm dripping. <laughs> Right, let's get it jacked up again. Right, the other thing I'm going to need to bear in mind um, is the the two cables in the centre of the picture. The one to the left is the new clutch cable, but both of those are actually touching the exhaust manifold, and they were quite close to it last time as well. So what I'll probably will do is, of course, I'll tie them together like they were before anyway. But what I'll probably will do, speaking with that same guy that was talking to me about the uh, cable itself um, I probably will look at somewhere of trying to tie them somehow attach them to the inner wing so that they keep well away from that exhaust I'm just 
maneuvering the cable into the correct position. There we go. And that should feed in quite nicely towards the bellows in. Right, we've got a problem. So here's the old cable. So if you can imagine with the connecting nuts at the right side of that tab on the end of the bellows in, the wire obviously goes through and connects up here. Now the new cable, when the nuts go on that side of the bellows in, the cable isn't long enough to reach the connecting rod in the bellows in and I can't pull it anymore. That hitting sound, that, that's the pedal on the inside hitting the stopper on the side of the steering column. Cable's too short, it's the wrong one. I don't believe it. Right, so I've just got off the phone to a guy at Sutton Auto Factors to just see if they might have had a, a clutch cable in stock. Um, they don't have one right now. They can order me one to pick up tomorrow morning. So I've done that now and I'll go and get that in the morning. Um, just a frustration really because the cable that I had purchased was advertised as a 2.8 injection Capri cable for an 81 to 87 and that is an 81 so that should have fitted it should have gone on and clearly it's it's too short it's not the right length um, the one that I will be getting tomorrow is 955 mil and I have checked the length for the old one and it's the same so it's definitely the wrong part that I've been given um, it is particularly annoying the fact that today Reggie's at nursery so I wouldn't have had him to worry about um, I could have just got on today, just cracked on with it and got this finished, but this is obviously a bit of a setback and it's going to certainly put added pressure on trying to get this car finished in the week, ready for the uh, Capri Festival at the weekend, so yeah, definitely a, a frustration, but these things happen. Alright, I better get this uh, new one back off again, back in the packet. Let's see if we can try and get this off without having to take the pedal off, now that I know how it goes. I probably don't need to do it. Just see that of it. <laughs> well now I'm really puzzled, because I've not just put the two side by side and everything looks alright. So why would that not come out enough before? The thread's the same length. Yeah. Now I'm even more puzzled. This is just so strange. Right. Okay, so we're going to try and fit this cable back again and see if it might, maybe, it must have snagged somehow along the um, casing, in, the bit inside the engine bay. That's all I can think of because it is the same length. So it should fit. Right. <laughs> didn't before I don't know but clearly didn't so it was snagging on something but it's, it seems to be all right now well, how strange okay let's get this fed through properly so through the hole of the bell I was in and I we'll need to get through the gate here as well we've just got to hook the end of the cable here through the eye on the connecting rod Pull that tight and then turn the nuts on the end. Screw that one up. Need to fix this gator back. Now that we're connected at both ends, we'll see if it works. Alright, let's see if it's it's going down and coming up again, that's a good sign. If that's going into reverse or not. That is. So I seem to be getting into the gears, but of course it's only going to really be an accurate test once we've got this car back on the ground, get it started and actually, actually try and put it into gears. So I guess that's what's next. In neutral, handbrake, 
foot brake. Got the windscreen wipers just yet. Not a lot of play in that. Boy, it's wanting to go. Might have to make a small adjustment to the them nuts on the bottom because. The clutch only comes up a tiny amount, and then it wants to go. It's not. Uh, it's not as. It needs to be coming up a little bit more for me. It goes in the gears, which is a good thing. So I'm happy with that. But I'm going to just make a few adjustments to them nuts at the bottom. Right. So I'm just going to turn these down. Okay, there's a bit more play in that now. Let's see if that's any better. <laughs> It's even worse now. Christ. It wants to go. Nah, it needs to go the other way. So, listening them in that direction, I think it's made it worse. So, the upper one needs to go the other way. Let's see if that's any better. Do that one up now. Up to it. Get the car down and have a look. Let's go again. Third time lucky. That's better. Right. Reverse. Yeah! <laughs> right. Let's go out for a, a quick drive. Take the clutch actually feels fantastic. It feels really good. Second, third, and fourth. Looking like reverse to me. So probably what I'll do, we'll tie those two together and then I'll see if I can find somewhere down here to then tie the coupled bits together um, and tie it somewhere down here so that it keeps it away from the exhaust manifold. Fiddly. Oh yes, just. Excellent. Got one there and then I'll group them together, tied it around that. A little bit crude. It's fairly well hidden in the engine bay anyway, and uh, it'll do the job. Question now is have I got time before I go and get Reggie to put these panels back? Let's give it a go. Knock that off. Come on! Beautiful 80s crap plastics. All back. <laughs> Time to get Reggie. Well, so far so good. It's uh, driving perfectly. Better than it did before, the clutch feels fantastic. Absolutely spot on. Well happy. Hey, had a good day at nursery? Oh! <laughs> right then, guys. Okay. So. Looks like we're back in we're back in business. Oh, you want your charger in Renault 5? There you go. You got them? Good lad. So yeah, it looks like we're back in business. So um, 
yeah really pleased with how that's gone um, it was a little bit uh, sort of scary to begin with because of course when you have a fire like that albeit it was a small one it's still nonetheless it's a scary thing it's not nice and and it's probably from this experience it's probably the one thing that still eludes me at the minute is I don't know what caused the shorting out of the electrical supply for the battery um, but you know I've obviously done all I can to try to keep the um, clutch cable and all the other cables and what have you away from any parts that I could see that potentially could carry a current you know I've tie wrapped them out of the way they're tie wrapped out of the way of the exhaust manifold as well so they're protected in that sense so and it's working and I, I guess that's probably the, the best that I can hope for because at least I have made it safe from whatever danger there was at the time so all being well hopefully we'll be okay now right okay so pass some thanks on so to parts in motion first of all for supplying the uh, clutch cable thank you very much guys for doing that it was an incredibly cheap price 15 quid with postage included and it was it was uh, in the house within a couple of days of me ordering it so massive thanks to you guys thank you very much for that um, I also want to apologize to yourselves for doubting the fact that you'd supplied the wrong part because it clearly wasn't the case that was down to me from um, somehow that cable was snagging when I was trying to connect it to the bell housing so for doubting you on that I apologize the part was absolutely fine it's worked a treat so thank you for that similarly I want to apologize to Sutton Auto Factors um, for a bit of a waste of their time really trying to order a part through them when I thought I'd got the wrong one and it turned out not to be and I had to reverse everything back so sorry about that guys but thank you for your support um, I want to do a couple of quick mentions for Dean Treadaway mate thank you for your tips as well uh, on the clutch cable itself just giving me um, an idea of uh, the, the materials that I was going to be looking for it kind of confirm what my dad's suspicions were and also as well your tip for saying to keep the cables tied away get some zip ties and just make sure that they're snugged away from anything like the exhaust and stuff so thanks very much for taking your time to answer my question I mate. really appreciate it and also to my dad as well I want to say a big thanks to you mate um, thank you so much for taking your time out to do a bit of research in yourself your suspicions uh, of what potentially was the cause of the clutch now not working and why it shorted out appear to have proved correct because of course the clutch cable that I've taken off the car that's completely knackered is completely seized up which would explain why I had a stiff pedal when I was trying to press it so thank you very much dad I love you for that thank you right okay so I guess all we've got to do now is just make sure that this car is nice and cleaned ready for uh, the Overingham festival which will be this coming weekend the car's going nowhere once it goes back to the garage until then so I'm not going to be tempting fate and that'll be the next time hopefully it'll be going out and looking forward and hopefully it'll be a really good day so before we finish the video off if you like the video of course give it a thumbs up thank you Reg if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down why are you grinning again are you not giving it thumbs down this time thank you little man <laughs> if you want to put some comments forward that would be greatly appreciated if you want to get in touch with me on my email address um, that's details of that is in the description below as are links to my Twitter and Instagram account so please feel free to check those out and if you would like to continue to support uh, my channel or our channel I should say then just hit the subscribe button at the end of the video where you can also have a look at further content that's on the channel and hopefully you'll like the sort of stuff that's on there right we're gonna go inside now and get some dinner and uh, we'll have a, a nice little evening before the little man goes to bed and uh, just got to wait till mummy gets home until then guys thank you very much for tuning in and your continued support as ever and we'll see you in the next episode thanks for your time and we'll see you soon cheers now see you later bye bye
Better not leave that running. That'd be a bit embarrassing if I did that, mate, wouldn't it? Flat battery. <laughs> battery. <laughs> <laughs> You've pooed? You've pooed? Thanks. Daddy pooed. Daddy pooed? Daddy haven't pooed. What are you going on with? <laughs>